I don't really keep the tidy as shed. Yes, that's step one, eh? Clean. Not me. Now let's make a mess of it. What we're doing today is because I'm pretending to be all knowledgeable about all things crafty and techy and shit. Gonna make a headphone stand. Made a template. It's um, very stark in its design. I thought it looked good anyway. Looks good on the table, at least uh, having that cardboard. Right, so we'll warm right now. I am a great pretender of knowing what the fuck I'm doing. And the fact of the matter is, I haven't got a fucking clue. And I'm just sort of winging it most of the time. The other fact is, I don't have the best tools. So a lot of the time, my ideas are based on other people's far greater knowledge base. Shout out to all the boys, all the people online who's already done this. In a far more competent fashion than I. Garbage is here. Let's start marking it out. Basic plan is to cut out the rough, rough as fuck shape that it's going to be. And then from there, uh, basically sand it. It's going to be a lot of sanding and debating. Doubling this up so it's a bit thicker. Well, last time I tried to do this, I fucking cut my thumb to shred it. But I will bodge things up. I will bodge things up. I will do things dodgy like. And I won't give a shit about it because it's just for me. It's not for anyone else. Doesn't help. That's about a million degrees Celsius from there. Don't overheat it and stop recording. So I went ahead, cut the basic shape, don't ask. And I decided I want to do a second one. So I'll do that now. Oh, I was sawing just now. And the veer snapped off. But since it's going to get glued to here, I don't think it's going to be much of a problem really. I think it'll be fine. Right.
a slightly cooler part of the day. Change the shirt because it was sweaty. And I did actually start shaking it a bit. And it's been a big old pain in the ass. Like I thought it would be. Chinese rasp, which uh, has about 30 teeth on it, and a slightly better file. just running through all these bumps Space. And the Xbox controller sits very nicely in there now. And the uh, wire hole will be cut somewhere up here, probably on the right side. I don't know yet. Sometimes I'll cut one, but we'll see. Now it's starting to take shape. <laughs> 